What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you were awesome, and Predecessor has made some changes since the first alpha weekend. It's very nice to see both Strange Matter and Omega so quick on the draw when it comes to patching in updates to their respective games. Today we're going to talk through these updates, point out some remaining bugs, and have a good time with a few highlights. If you enjoyed the content, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. The first update we have was that they are now allowing you to duo queue. This is a nice compromise that lets you play with a friend while still not allowing coordinated 5 stacks to ruin the experience for people. I did have one game where I duo queued with Gathison and we had our friend Zella queue up at the same time, and we all luckily ended up on the same team, so it is possible to somewhat cheat the system. However, it was just as likely that Zella would have ended up on the opposing team. They also updated the menu screen to allow you to look through the items before entering the match, which is quite nice. As far as gameplay, they added a rotation to the river buff, so now you can get ability damage, damage over time from landing basics, movement speed, or a shield kind of like the old green buff. They also added the red and blue buff back into the jungle, with the red buff allowing your basic attacks to apply a slow and a damage over time, and the blue buff giving cooldown reduction in mana on hit with basic attacks or abilities. They added a new active item called Flame that acts as a smite to jungle or lane minions. They said that they fixed the lane minions so that they will correctly drop aggro, however, in my experience, the little shits will still start hitting you for like zero reason, and the predecessor minions do not fuck around. They are also taking a hard stance on draft dodgers, applying penalties to those who dodge, and yes, both in fault and predecessor, you have dickheads dodging because first pick took their hero. Ameda is taking it as far as revoking keys for repeat offenders or people that are just continuously toxic in the game. I am all for this. It's an alpha and we are supposed to be helping them improve the game. If you're fortunate enough to be able to test it, then stop dodging. Play something you're unfamiliar with and move on. As far as bugs go, I didn't encounter many other than the minions attacking me sometimes for like no reason, but you also encounter random indicator circles left over from gadget mines. Even when I know it's not really there, just seeing this circle makes me veer around it sometimes because gadget mines freaking hurt. I did see some people reporting that Kai's Q wasn't working as intended, but I didn't have any problem with that. Oh, they also had some problems with the servers whenever they first started up. Uh, more people are playing Predecessor than they thought, so they had to open that up. That was fixed within like an hour. Omega is going strong with Predecessor. The core gameplay is extremely smooth and polished. They're adding stuff in as they go, building upon earlier iterations and then testing the effects of the new buffs and items. I really like the slow and steady approach. They're making sure that the foundation is solid before building upon it. Everyone who has had the opportunity to play seems to be having fun with it, and they are continuously rolling out more and more keys, so make sure you head to their website and sign up, keep an eye out for your favorite streamers and YouTubers for giveaways, and stay active in their Discord for a chance to play. Going to roll some highlights as I go, but for now, this is the Mangu signing off. You guys have a good one.
Yes, blow him up like a fire. Man, goo.